press on to victory. Victory in Jesus. This is Pastor Fred sending you greetings from New York City. The city that has become famous worldwide because of COVID-19. Yes, this is where I am. But I'm safe by the grace of God. Because as the Lord promises, I'm with you always, even up to the end of the age. You know, in times like this, it is a difficult thing to be separated from family and loved ones. That is why I'm sending you this greeting, that we should press on to victory, because victory is always in Jesus. Things like this happen, things we cannot explain. But our Lord told us in John chapter 10 and verse 10, the thief, the enemy, the devil, he comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But he has come that we may have life and have it in all his abundance. You have that abundant life. Cling on to the giver of life. Today, my prayer for you, and for all time, is part of this verse in 3 John 2. A verse that has been quoted over and over and over again. But as I read it again and reflect, it consists of a prayer for Gaius, the friend that John, the beloved, wrote to. Take John 3, 2. He said, I pray that you may prosper in all things, that you stay healthy, even as your spirit prospers. First, he said that Gaius is strong and healthy because John knows that health, spiritual health, spiritual prosperity, progress in spiritual things is everything. The spirit governs the world. It can take you through COVID and fight through all kinds of things with you. So your spirit is prospering. That's the greatest. Then he asked him secondly to be healthy. Healthy. The reason why many of us are running away from COVID-19 and struggling with all kinds of things and people are dying and they tell us it's from underlying health conditions is that when we are not healthy, we will not be able to serve the Lord as we ought to. Friends, this is a wake-up call for us to stay healthy. The rules of hygiene, the rules of nature, the rules of eating well, of, of just doing the right things. And this time, this time they are saying social distance or physical distance, washing of hands, the laws of hygiene. Let us abide by them. So we stay healthy and stay healthy to do what God has called us to do. Then the third thing he prays for is that his friend Gaius, and just like you, will prosper in all things. And by all things, he means prosper in your relationship with your neighbor. Prosper as you serve God in church, in the market, in the home, wherever you serve God. May the Lord who has called us, may the Lord who will strengthen you, may the God who has planned for you is enduring until he calls you home strengthen you and encourage you. Believe that you are a winner in him because he will never leave you nor forsake you. And like our greeting says, press on to victory because this victory is in Jesus. Let us pray. Father, I come before you with your saints gathered and abroad everywhere that they are. We've been shut down. We've been confused. We've been intimidated by COVID-19. But we know all these are the skirmishes of the enemy because you are the real champion who will never leave us nor forsake us. Therefore, Lord, no matter what happens, draw us close to you. Cause us to focus on you, never to give up on you, so that you, when you come for us, will be there with you. Therefore, beloved, may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide in your heart, both now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>